AITA for legally suspending my daughter's license. My daughter is 16. Myself and her mom separated when she was 12, and we both live in the same town and maintain a healthy relationship, and split custody 50-50. I taught my daughter how to drive, and was with her when she got her license last month. Last week, my daughter came home with a ticket for texting and driving on the highway. This caused a huge concern for me. The ticket included a zero zero fine and a 20-day suspension of her license. I was obviously very upset and we got into an argument about it. Her points were that everyone does it and that she doesn't do that often, or when other cars are around. Not only was she defending herself, but she was essentially arguing that she does it safely. I told her that regardless of when the suspension kicks in, she is grounded from driving until she has shown that she can be responsible enough to not put her own life, or the other lives, on the road, in danger. I took her car keys, a car that I had bought for her as a getting your license present. She went and called her mom before I did, and next thing I know, I have her calling me and telling me that I had no right to punish her like that without talking to her first. I agree that I should have talked to her first about it, but that I feel like the grounding is non-negotiable. Her mom actually took her side and said the same everyone does at Bulls and that she needs a car to get to work and hang out with friends. I told her that it is ridiculous that she is even supporting this. The conversation ended with her telling me that she wasn't going to enforce the rule and would allow her to drive one of her cars at her house. I waited a few days until it was her mom's turn of custody. I called her and she confirmed that she isn't backing off and that she is going to let her drive until the suspension kicks in. I told her that she is actively letting our child endanger her life as well as everyone else's. She told me I am making this a much bigger deal now than it needs to be, and she said that if it was actually that serious, she would have gotten more than a 20-day suspension. In my state, the parent that signed the minor driving consent form when you get your license has the ability to have your license revoked, so I did just that. They warned me that this will count as a full revocation on her record and that she will be ineligible to get it again until she is 18. I went through with it and texted her mother to tell her that I revoked her license and sent her a picture of the paper that the MV sent me. She told me I am out of line and making decisions for our daughter without consulting her. I told her that she was neglecting her safety and I wasn't going to allow her to enable our daughter to endanger herself or someone else on the road. My daughter is livid at me, and so is her mom, but I feel like I did what I had to do. AITA? Greater than her points were that everyone does it and that she doesn't do that often. Anyone who takes that attitude has no right to be a driver. NTA. Oh man, I don't know now. I was with you all the way up until the two years before she can get it again. 100% in your corner that it's extremely serious and terrifying that she and her mom doesn't realize that. If only there was a 3-6 month revocation option I'd be saying, hell yeah. But I wonder if there could have been more discussions education before the full hammer came down. That's a long time for someone her age and she may grow a lot in a year, still not willing to judge you an asshole. You're a scared dad, but a bit harsher road than I may have taken. ESH, your daughter sucks because she wouldn't take responsibility for her actions, thereby making it clear that she absolutely would make the same decisions again. Your ex sucks because she supported your daughter's ridiculous irresponsibility and refused to accept to enforce any kind of punishment for her behavior. You suck because you went full nuclear. You were in the right and then pulled the old you made me do this because you wouldn't listen otherwise. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do it. Especially this. Now, your daughter will be an 18 year old any W driver and you've lost any respect from her. I hope it was worth it. NTA. You could have saved lives.
Texting and driving is incredibly dangerous and illegal. Two years without a license is in the long run a harsh but easy price for safety. I hope you are prepared to drive her everywhere she needs to go, though. And ye, as a mom, I think you did what you had to do to ensure safety of your child. Maybe it could have been handled more cooperatively with the mom, but since mom defended daughter, not sure it would have led to different result. ESH, but it's a tough one. Your daughter got caught texting while driving. The larger problem, of course, is she has zero remorse. That's asshole number one. Your ex-wife supports your daughter because she doesn't see anything wrong with texting and driving either. That's asshole number two. You took the all-out war approach and cancelled her license for two years. I'm afraid that's asshole number three. It was, obviously, your legal right to do that and that right is given for a variety of reasons. But I think it was an asshole ISH move to have done that without first consulting with your daughter and your ex-wife and explaining what you were going to do and why you were going to do it. With your daughter's attitude and her mom's support, do you think she is? She's simply not going to drive for the next two years. Long term, you may have made things a lot worse. Edit. The more I think about it, the more I'm not sure you had the legal right to do what you did. As far as the DMV is concerned, yes. But since you have 50-50 custody with your ex, it is quite possible that your custody agreement required you to consult with your ex and get her agreement before taking an action such as you did. Your hornet's nest may have gotten that much larger. NTA, the fact that the daughter and ex both try to justify her texting and driving by claiming everyone does it proves the daughter has absolutely no intention of stopping. She learned absolutely nothing from the ticket, pretty sure he'd rather have a pissed daughter than a dead one too. ESH, I was with you until you got her license revoked for the next two years. That's nuts and you've probably done some serious damage to your relationship with your daughter and ex. NTA for sure. She could kill herself or someone else. NTA. A million times NTA. Way to go dad. Finally apparent with some balls to do what needs to be done. Even if it's a tough love situation. My kids know if they so much as text OK in the car, they lose phone, car, and everything else I can reasonably take away. Nta. Her mom is delusional. You did the right thing. Your daughter isn't mature enough to have her license. I'm not sure your ex-wife is either. NTA. My girlfriend was almost killed by a teenager texting and driving. He slammed into the back of the car she was in doing 70 miles per hour, and they were stopped. She's incredibly lucky to be alive, and spent considerable time in the hospital recovering from her injuries. The kid walked away with minor injuries and a totaled vehicle. I have zero sympathy for people who do such stupidly dangerous stuff. Texting and driving ranks right up there with impaired driving. And your ex is evil for endorsing your daughter doing such things. ESH bloody hell. This is what it looks like when adults can't communicate. You have turned a relatively minor, but definitely dangerous infraction into a much bigger deal than it needed to be. You have literally, autonomously, and of your own volition, turned a 20-day suspension into a two-year suspension with lasting consequences. All because apparently you can't talk to your ex-wife and co-parent like a real adult. You aren't entirely in the wrong however, your ex-wife, likewise, has the communication skills of a toddler. She also escalated the situation, this whole bloody thing could have been avoided if you'd both sat down and talked through it properly. NTA. Texting while driving kills people. Normally, I would say going full scorched earth with the legal suspension is overkill, but the fact that her mother is defending her is absurd. You're literally protecting your daughter's life and the life of everyone else on the road.
And ye, your daughter made it clear she did not learn her lesson and thinks it's okay to continue to drive recklessly. You're doing a good job by giving her real consequences. To me and ye, you are her parent and you're doing a service for her and everyone else. Sure I can sympathize it's a sty situation for her but people don't take texting and driving seriously and hopefully this will make her see that she's lucky her or someone else isn't dead. There is no excuse for texting and driving especially everyone does it. I think you're doing the right thing. And yeah, you're saving your idiot daughter's life. As to the whole, everyone does it excuse, which enrages me. There was an article recently about a woman who got charged with manslaughter because she was texting and driving, rear-ended someone, and the death of a pedestrian was the result. Please show her and her mom that article. I know it's just one example but I really hope people see that and realize just how real and dangerous and potentially life-changing this little habit is. Your life or someone else's can change in a heartbeat, and there may be no going back. I know she's young, but I really feel like that concept should be understood by someone before they operate heavy machinery. NTA, I am permanently injured from being hit by a driver texting and driving when they felt it was safe. She also tried to excuse it as everyone does it and now my life has changed forever because someone else made such an irresponsible decision. Texting and driving kills people. If your daughter doesn't value her own life enough to stop, she needs to be reminded there are other drivers and passengers she's putting at risk. If she's not mature enough to put down the phone, she's not mature enough to drive. NTA, to everyone saying two years not driving between 16 and 18 will forever hinder her entire life. You are full of S. I grew up in an area with no public transportation and after I left school relied on rides to get to my job. I was 19 when I was finally able to get my license. My mother refused to allow me to even get my permit before I turned 18. I do not text and drive, and getting a license a couple years behind my peers did not, amazingly enough, make any real difference in my life other than where I got a part-time job. This kid habitually texts and drives. No way this was the first and last time if she got pulled over ticketed for doing it. She and her mother believe she did nothing wrong, despite the ticket and the legal consequences. This is a great option for terminally reckless teenagers. I don't think parents had the option to do that where I lived. I get why people are going ESH over the co-parenting thing. This isn't a my daughter has a 9 p.m. curfew at my house and a 12 midnight curfew at yours. You need to change your rules kind of co-parenting issue. This is a bit bigger than that. Statistically, if your daughter has no regrets and intends to keep doing it, she'll kill someone, or herself, or at the very least cause injury. Traffic changes in a split second. I once rear-ended someone because I sneezed and the car in front of me stopped sooner than I expected and in that split second of my eyes closing I hit the guy's bumper. Imagine actually looking down for several seconds at your phone. Traffic was moving fairly slow so no one was hurt other than the guy's bumper being dinged. But it really drove home for me exactly how little time it takes for a crash to happen. If mom is that delusional where she believes her daughter did nothing wrong and texting isn't a problem, you gotta do the nuclear thing. If your daughter never grows up to realize how wrong she was, and ends her relationship with you over this, I'm sorry. But you will always know that you tried to do the right thing by her. I do not believe this will happen. She'll probably hate you for several years until she has a friend who dies gets hurt texting and driving, then she'll be like wow dad you were right. Even if she does have to pay higher insurance rates, that will actually also go away after some years of not doing it again. Almost every violation has an expiration date. And if at 18 she regains her license and never has another moving violation for some years, 
it ceases being an issue and the penalty stops being charged. My brother lost his license due to being a stupid kid freshman year and it stopped being an issue for him eventually when he never did it again. I think you're absolutely NTA for punishing your daughter. She was very well aware of the potential consequences of texting and driving and chose to do it anyway. Then she even argued about why it was okay after getting caught. However, I'm a little stuck on the co-parenting situation. I think mom is also totally in the wrong here for defending daughter for something that's relatively indefensible, in my opinion, and dangerous. However, I'm not sure if you're TA for not trying to work out a co-parenting solution with mom. But on the other hand, mom is clearly not rationally punishing daughter by trying to undermine you. Id. Someone had to actually punish her. I guess MTA all around but only because mom undermined your punishment before you went behind her back and someone had to take action here. In Australia texting and driving is hugely illegal. It's a prox 00-00 fine and around 6 demerit points. It's a massive no. No, you are NTA in any sense. Absolutely NTA. This is some A plus parenting edited to add. Her behavior absolutely warranted you going nuclear. She could have easily killed herself or someone else. There is no safe way to be distracted whilst you are driving. Can I say before my judgment, thank you OP for being a responsible human being and not endangering everyone else on the roads. I can understand your daughter being pissed, but her argument and behavior reeks of entitlement and irresponsibility. And after hearing how her mother blatantly is undermining you, well it's a wonder where she learned it. Both mom and daughter are big oz, and you definitely looked out after your liability should your daughter ignore responsibility again. Driving is a privilege, it is not a right. NTA. Texting and driving is so dangerous and what makes it even worse is people think it's okay. We'd all be better off of it had the stigma drinking and driving carries. Good for you. NTA. 120% my children are young and we have already half chose that. They never own a cell phone. We live in windy back roads on the east coast. Everyone, I mean everyone texts and drives. It's so bad I nearly get hit head on the minimum once a month. Two months ago a lady was texting and drive. Ran straight into the fence at the top of our driveway and ripped the concrete and poles out. Concrete and all. This was a heavy duty fence. Thank goodness it was there or she would have drove right off the cliff behind the fence. She had to be looking at her phone for more than five seconds because she needed to turn where she struck. The mother is so in the wrong to teach that she has the right to do so. Them both willingly to push to break the law and to risk your daughter's life. I would have done the same. Nothing replaces her life. NTA a 19-year-old crashed me while distracted. You are doing the responsible thing. NTA, texting and driving is so dangerous. At least she was caught early enough before something worse happens. NTA, no way. NTA, take her to some driver's ed classes again so she can relearn what she immediately forgot. Make her watch plenty of videos of people dying from texting and driving, drinking and driving, and distracted driving in general. Plenty. Of. Them. Make her watch videos of family members grieving over their dead family members. Their dead children. Their dead friends. Their dead parents. Explain to her that life may be seem long, but it sure is mother effing unpredictable and doing reckless ass will increase the chances of her or others rate of dying sooner. She is basically trusting absolutely every driver that they know she is texting and driving and they should watch closely on her to make sure she doesn't swerve. She is trusting that the other drivers are not texting and driving as well and trusting them that they won't hit her. She is trusting that animals will know 
though she is texting and driving, she claims she makes sure no cars are around and will not jump out onto the road in front of her car when she is doing so and will wait patiently instead. My dad told me something, among others I will always remember, never assume everyone is a good driver, including yourself. The second you do, you will be careless. People saying you talk. Why? Do you want a teenager to kill themselves? Because they couldn't wait to say, lol, face with tears of joy, hundred points symbol, okay hand with light skin tone, skull? Or do you want that teenager to kill your own child, uncle, aunt, cousin, parent, spouse, friend, or yourself? Why? Safe driving is extremely important. It should not be taken lightly. I knew a guy who thought the same way as your daughter, because everyone does it. I only know him because he he was looking at his phone and went through the red light and crashed into my dad and stepmom's car, killing my stepmom and permanently disabling my dad. Now he has to live with the fact that he's killed a woman, made her children orphans as they lost both parents now. Lost his job because he did it while on company time and our family lives with the pain he inflicted out of negligence. So, no. Your auntie A. I wouldn't wish the pain I feel or the pain that man must feel for doing something everyone does, on anyone. Auntie A. I can see why you aren't with your ex because she is a grown adult acting worse than the teen. People die in text and drive accidents all the time. NTA thank you on behalf of all of us, and on behalf of law and order. It was also the right action for your daughter's maturation and well-being. NTA and thank you. NTA, your daughter did something dumb, whether others do it or not, and she should be shown it is a dumb thing to do. My parents would have done the same thing you did if I got a ticket for speeding at that age. And looking back, now I'm glad I had that enforcement. It might suck now, but you did the right thing. Suspending her license till she is 18 might be a bit extreme, but it is a lot less to deal with mentally for her than killing someone else on the road. All in all, I agree with what you did. NTA your daughter is a public safety hazard and your wife is enabling her irresponsible driving habits. NTA, my sister's best friend is dead because she couldn't wait until she had finished driving to send a text. She was 24 I believe. Your daughter is incredibly lucky that her license is the only thing she lost. ESH, she was already punished with a fine and a license suspension. I think canceling her license for two years will do more damage than good to your relationship with her and also her driving experience. Oh man, this is a tough one. Your wife and daughter absolutely suck for not taking texting and driving seriously, but you went full nuclear in ways that are really going to screw up your daughter's driving record and have far-reaching consequences beyond just losing her license for two years. I need to ruminate for a minute. Edit. After thinking, I'm going to have to go with ESH, but barely. I think it would have been better to warn them that you were planning on doing this if the daughter drove before she learned her lesson. The goal is to get her to correct her behavior. All this has really done is convince them that you're an AH, and your daughter is really really unlikely to learn that texting and driving is a bad idea and you've just delayed her inevitable accident by two years. NTA, this sounds like a setup to I learned it from watching you, mom, PSA against texting while driving. My wife texts or otherwise fusses with her phone while driving and it terrifies me to no end. Nothing I say dissuades her. Not even after she almost hit a dog that darted in front of her car that she didn't see until I yelled at her to stop. Honestly, I think most people who think that behavior is okay will not stop without something massive happening because of their inattention. Maybe these next two years will drive the point home how important this is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to hear more of the best posts.